hazardous for your health. Come on. Let go of me! Well, now look, lady. I know what you've been through. But I don't have time to explain. No, stay away from me! Stop! Now, my friends and I have come here to rescue you. Do you want me to push? No. Then come along quietly. <laughs> <laughs> this should buy plenty of uh, munitions for our next cause, huh? Yeah, and leave plenty over for a long vacation in Rio. <laughs> Hold it right there. No, I mean, hold it. Put your arms around each other. I'm very fond of lovers' embraces. Now, I'm sorry to interrupt the celebration, but this money was just on loan. Who are you? Friends of Mr. Teasdale, sent to retrieve his daughter and return the money. Now, I'd like to stay and chat, but that's the kind of foolishness. Miss Teasdale, there with me. Good night, Miss Teasdale. Piece of cake, huh? What's the static from here? Shouldn't be any, Carol. We, we took care of that perimeter guard. How's BA? Nice, B.A. That a boy. He told me he was interested in food. I didn't believe it till now. Come on, you gonna be okay, big guy. Get him around. Get him around. Up with the leg. You got him. Failure won't be a setback. It'll mean total annihilation. Its success is necessary if the GLA is to be. All right! Everybody put their weapons on the ground. Face. Do it. Now kick him away from you, nice and easy. I hope this little prayer meeting isn't over. My brothers and I want to repent. Amen, brother! You're all dead men. Really? Gee, I didn't think I'd feel this good after I was dead. I want to thank you all for coming to the funeral. You'll never make it out of here alive. And what makes you think we're going to leave you alive this time, Curly? Last time I was here, I didn't tell you my opinion of kidnappers. It's down there at the bottom of the swamp. You. Over here. Come on. But something special for you, Marcus, courtesy of Big Daddy Teasdale. I don't think he liked you dragging his daughter off to this little weekend seminar. What are you going to do to me? Use your imagination. Or you can borrow mine. <laughs> well, this looks familiar. You don't mind if I relieve you of your excess baggage, do you? I mean, you wouldn't want to be overburdened when you checked into the county cooker. OK, brothers and sisters, I want you to reach out. I want you to reach out to me, Brother Murdoch, because we're going to tie your little hands.
hands and leave you for the local fuzz to pick up. Hallelujah, hallelujah, it's a miracle. And I do believe I spot some rope. Brother Marcus, will you do us the honor and obtain it? Right down to the last rubber band. Got the keys to the Bronco? I got him. I told you this would be a piece of cake. Cover the perimeter fence. Mobilize all the vehicles. They will not get away this time. Kill them! Kill them all. Well, we'll all be killed. A face. You may not believe this, but if we hang around here long and they catch us here, we'll all be killed. I'm real glad Jenny's OK. I can't believe you guys came back for me. You can't. Face, they're going to find out any minute we didn't go out the front gate. I'm not worried. Are you guys worried? Heck no. What should we? A it's piece a piece of cake. cake. I can't believe they got back in again. How could you let them through, huh? They had Strickland and David. As long as they don't get back off the grounds, they're to be stopped no matter what, no matter who they have with them this time. Is that understood? You heard my second in command. Ramon! They found something you should see. so worried about you. Me too, girl. Mm. But you should have gotten out of here. Not let them come back for me. We stand for truth, justice, and the American way. And if that means the kidnapper gets the girl, well, we'll make that happen too. Even if it kills us. You know, you guys are incredible. I can't believe that you actually did it. Neither can I. We lost our wheels. B.A. did 15 rounds with Godzilla. Hannibal did a 20-story high dive. We had our raft blown out from under us, and we still managed to save the girl, her boyfriend, and retrieve the money. Now, all you've got to do is stop them from blowing up that dam. Dam? I want to cry. Have you seen this young lady? I know that broad. She sold more records this past From year where? than any singer in the country. I don't know. That face belongs to Stevie Faith, queen of rock and roll, who has reportedly been kidnapped by the fugitive A-Team. Those are the guys next door. A $10,000 reward has been offered for any information leading to the safe return of the young singer. And uh, by babe, the way, give me the phone. there's a standing reward for the capture of the A-Team, dating back some 10 years. In other news... <laughs> All my life, I've wanted people to recognize me, to think I was somebody special. And now that they do, I, I just want to be invisible again. Ah, yes, the price of fame, you lose your anonymity. Fame, what a concept. I don't know whether it's me they think is special or I'm special because I'm Stevie Faith. I think you're special either way. I kind of like you.
Oh, Woody, thank goodness you're here. We cannot find the tape stone. So we just have to sit and wait for your friends to come back. We got trouble, guys. Stone's behind the whole thing. He's holding Stevie in face. And he's got those two gorillas attack the sound studio to back him up. Ah, uh, look, Gaston, what do you say we talk about this over breakfast? Pass. Woody, this is a really evil thing you're doing. There's a karma shift here that could spell your cosmic doom. Yeah, she's got a point. Hey, where are the tapes, pal? Uh, what happened to the accent? No, let me guess. The whole Triana thing is just a ruse, right? To draw suspicion away from you. Very good. Go to the head of your class. Oh, boy, whatever you want, you just take, huh? Like Stevie's contract with the hot potato? Oh, yeah, poor Mike Fontanetta. Tending bar from a wheelchair. But that's history. Woody, how could you? What did you think? I was gonna stand by while you gave millions to some people in Triana? I'm really disappointed in you, Woody. I guess I really never knew you. I just can't understand all these bad vibes. You know, it's like when you're a kid and you go to the beach and you make this huge sand castle. It turns out to be perfect. Well, then it's time to go home. So you step all over it so no other kid can play with it. I made it. It was mine to destroy. I want to do the same thing to you, Stevie Faith. Have you ever considered psychiatric help? OK, guys, quietly. you before Hannibal has the tape. You... Why doesn't anyone believe me? He should have been back by now. Oh, he's, he's at the other house, the one at the end of the block. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, we ran into two houses, you know? I mean, just in case of attack. Double security. See, that way we have both ends of the cul-de-sac and... Smart. Very smart. Oh. Clever little group. Huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, wait a second. That means he knows we're here. Okay, pretty boy, what's the password? Uh, password? We don't have a password. What's the password? Uh, uh, just, just knock on the door and say, it's, it's the new block, Captain. It's the new block, Captain. Yeah, you got it. What? 
Dixon, Manolo, the boys are all busted, and then we lost a whole load. Who did this? The block captain! Get the artillery. Who is it? It's the new block captain. Terrific. <laughs>